Greetings, everyone. Well, it's closer look time again on the Multimedia Chronicles. Today, I thought we'd uh, take a look at the Battlestar Galactica Definitive Collection Blu-ray set. And while we're at it, take an encore look at the Complete Epic Series Limited Edition D DVD set that I got ages ago. Now, now, I know I did do a closer look at this a million years ago, but that was literally about a decade ago long before we went 60 frames per second, 1080p, beautiful high definition. So I thought, hmm, while we're looking at the Blu-ray set, good time for an encore look at this cool set. So let's do that. Battlestar Galactica, today on A Closer Look on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Now, I would have been six years old when Battlestar Galactica first premiered on TV. Um, I had, of course, seen Star Wars in theaters the year before when I was five, and Star Wars made a pretty big impression on me. Now, it's no surprise that Battlestar Galactica uh, was largely brought into being due to the success of Star Wars. In fact, John Dykstra, who worked on the special effects for Star Wars, also worked on the special effects for Battlestar Galactica, and it's largely due to his involvement is one of the reasons why the special effects look so darn good in Battlestar Galactica. Now, to be fair, they do reuse a lot of the same shots and whatnot over and over again, But uh, and you can kind of pick them out. <laughs> But uh, at the time, there was nothing else on TV that looked anything like it. I mean, it was just phenomenal. Now, honestly, I don't remember much about my original viewings of it when I was six years old. But I do kind of have vague impression memories of watching the show when I was young. Like being in a neighbor's basement with my parents there and while all the kids were crowded around the TV watching Battlestar Galactica. And I just have vague memories of, you know, some of the villains. and The Cylons, of course. Every kid remembers the Cylons. I mean, that wonderful robotic voice that's so iconic. And um, But I didn't really remember much about it. The one I remembered more was actually Galactica 1980, because I would have been eight when that came out. So I remembered the flying motorcycles and uh, the episode of Starbuck befriending the Cylon and stuff like that. So I had more memories of that. It wasn't until years later that uh, the Space Channel here in Canada actually started showing repeats of Battlestar Galactica. And the Space Channel is one of those better specialty channels because unlike a lot of other stations that pick up syndication packages, Space was actually showing the original uncut versions of the episodes. So it wasn't the cut down syndicated versions. It was the original like 49 minute long episodes. Um, so I watched all of them, the whole thing, when they repeated them, and I was like, wow, this is awesome. Like, I remember hardly anything about this show, but I'm absolutely loving it. And, uh, yeah. Now, before anyone asks, no, I still have not seen the 2004, uh, reimagining series. I've heard it's great. Uh, I definitely plan to pick up the Blu-ray set of that one of these days, but, uh, I just haven't got around to it yet. So, eventually. But, I mean... I, I'm a nostalgia freak. I grew up with this show, and this is the one that means the most to me personally. Um, yeah, I, I had always meant to get some kind of home video version of it. Like I remember there were VHS releases that came out that were compilations of episodes or just, you know, they had some movie versions of episodes that they released into syndication and stuff like that, but I never ended up getting any of them. Uh, it wasn't until the Space Channel repeats that I really finally saw it and yes they showed galactica 1980 as well they showed everything and uh and it was great so anyway let's head on down to the black box and we'll uh take a look at the dvd set uh, in beautiful high definition for the first time and we'll look at the blu-ray set which has the show in beautiful high definition for the first time we'll also talk a little bit about what the difference is between this set and the similar looking set with the black cover that they call the complete collection so let's check them out. Okay, this will be a challenge, fitting the whole thing into the screen. There we go. Well, that's more or less right. Just angle it up a bit for you. Look at that. Look how shiny and beautiful that is. Oh, hey, you can see the camera. Cool. 
yeah this is this is one gorgeous set i gotta say um this is one i will never get rid of i'm just so glad to have it as a display piece and as a battlestar galactica fan and if you look the lint the uh, eye piece is actually lenticular and as you turn it you can see the light kind of going back and forth isn't that neat <laughs> I can't do the sound. Anyway, you know the sound. They use the same sound for Knight Rider, by the way. Okay, so this, of course, is Battlestar Galactica, the complete epic series. The set that was released, does it say when it was released? 2003, this set originally came out. Yeah, the same year they released uh, Buck Rogers. It was kind of like the year of the universal sci-fi shows you grew up with. I think around the same time they released The Incredible Hulk as well. Nothing on the bottom. Now on the back, I put the uh, the backing back on there, so you can see. This kind of gives you a look at all the contents on there. Very nice. It gives you a look at, of course, the Cylon head. And there's a booklet with it, which we'll look at in a moment. Huge digipack that folds out for all the discs. Now this is just the original 24-episode series. This does not include Galactica 1980. That was later released as its own set. Here, I'll show you. This was the Galactica 1980 set. The reason I don't have this set anymore is because I sold it a while ago. Because I knew that it was going to be included in the Blu-ray set. And there wasn't really anything particularly special about the packaging anyway. It was no Cylon head set, you know? <laughs> so let's crack this bad boy open here. So basically it's just a big, sturdy cardboard box. And we have our booklet right there. And uh, But this is... Like, this is very, very good, very sturdy. And uh, you can see, like, just how how big this face is. Like, look how much it comes off the front of the box. This thing is massive. Massive. I mean, look at that. Huge. <laughs> so needless to say, it's a bit of a challenge to fit this on the shelf. But, uh, but very cool. Now, they did release a version of this in the UK that had the Cylon face, but it was just kind of a an embossed cover so it wasn't uh, all big and 3d like this it was just a you know basically the image and it looked like that and there was a re-release of the complete epic series as well later which just had a fairly straightforward cover like that um i think it's actually very similar to the set that comes in the box set just without the big box and the booklet and everything okay so just give it a moment here i'm just gonna uh touch up the focus here real quick okay there we go so first up we of course have the complete epic series collector's book now underneath we have the digipack which has the uh all the dvds in it in a nice foam uh container to kind of keep it all protected and safe and there you go so it has a little thing of foam padding on the bottom so it doesn't uh get smushed yeah, it's supposed to fit a little better in there, but I guess it's got a little squished over the years. So we're just going to put that back in there for the moment, and we're going to take a look at the booklet here. So this is quite a sizable booklet. As you can see, the book is as as big as the box, so it's it's a good sized book. So if we take a look, uh, let's just take a look at the back here first. Just kind of gives you the cast and the the main cast list there, which is quite cool. I love all this artwork here, too. It's a beautiful, beautiful set. And then uh, if we open it up, nice uh, sturdy pages here, too. So we got uh, got this, which is basically the opening narration for every episode. Done by Patrick McNee, by the way, famous uh, British actor. You, Some of you may remember from The Avengers. No, not that Avengers. The other Avengers. The British series with uh, John Steed and Emma Peel. So this is quite cool. So it gives you a breakdown not only of all of the episodes that are on the discs, but also all of the extras. And you can see there's quite a robust selection of extras here. As far as I'm aware, I haven't done an item-by-item item comparison, but as far as I'm aware, everything from this set was ported over to the Blu-ray set as well. So if you have the Blu-ray set, you should have everything that's on this set. So that's the general breakdown. And now we have detailed synopses of each story here which is very cool so this gives you the full three hour version of the pilot it does not give the give you the theatrical version 
and it is the three-hour version strung together into a massive movie as well. So, pretty cool. Let's take a look here as we go. This is beautiful. Just beautiful. Just move it down a little bit. Yeah, so it just says episodes on the top there. I can't quite fit it all in the picture. <laughs> but uh, you get the gist of it. And there we go. Fire in Space, War of the Gods. I remember there were uh, a number of VHS releases of single episodes back in the day, but we never got a complete series release. Uh, there were also some syndicated versions of episodes that were edited together into movie presentations. They would take like two episodes. I mean, there were a bunch of two-parters, which were, of course, quite easy to turn into movie-length episodes for syndication. But then they also had a few that were just kind of random episodes that were strung together. Oh, look at this. It was like schematics of the Galactica. Very nice. Look at that. It's beautiful. Love all the practical effects and model work in this series, too. And you got the Vipers. There we go. And I love how the Viper schematic blends into the Cylon schematic, and one is shooting the other. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let me take a look here. And we got Apollo, of course. Richard Hatch. And we got Starbuck. Dirk Benedict. And of course we have Commander Adama. Lauren Green. Such an amazing voice. So he went from Bonanza into space. <laughs> and then of course the Cylons. There you go. Love this design. It was such a wonderfully menacing design. And the voices, those classic robotic voices, which um, made their way into numerous video games around that time as well. well. I guess a few years later when voice synthesis was up to the challenge. Now, let's take a look at the actual DVD set here. There we go. Just zoom in a bit because, you know, this is a closer look, right? We got to get close. Super close. Let's take a look here. So we'll just open this up a little bit. So once again, we have sort of the general breakdown here, just to kind of give you a, a quick look at what's on which disc. And if we flip this over, we got, uh, got Baltar versus Adama. Very nice. So now we get into the discs proper. So we open this up. We actually have different artwork under each disc. And yes, sadly, double-sided, dual-layer discs yet again. <sighs> gotta, gotta love those double-sided, dual-layer discs that Universal was so fond of. And yes, I can confirm there were a few minor playback problems with this set as well. But... Nothing too bad, actually. I got, had worse playback problems with other sets. Oh, that is really nice. That's like some uh, concept art there. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So we'll fold that one back up. Let's bring it over here. Take a look at this one. There you go. Some more concept art. Actually, I think a lot of the artwork underneath here is, is concept art. So, hold on. Come on. There. <laughs> and there. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. God. Come on. <laughs> Always concerned when they, they, they're so difficult to get out. I guess all the artwork underneath is concept art. That's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. So Battlestar Galactica was fairly popular. I mean, uh, I'm kind of surprised it only lasted basically a season and then was brought back later as Galactica 1980. But uh, there was some legal issues. Um, the powers that be felt it was a little too close to Star Wars. I mean, they even had John Dykstra working on it, who had worked on Star Wars, doing the effects for it. And... Um, they uh, 
kind of got in a bit of trouble for that. So it was kind of a combination of, I think, legal pressure and also pressure for the network. They kind of watered things down over the course of the series, made it a little more family-friendly, whereas if you watch the earlier episodes, it's a little darker and more menacing, a lot more threat to the characters. So here is the Blu-ray set. And, of course, this is the Blu-ray set you want to get, ideally, because this is the one... It's called the Definitive Collection, and that could not be more true because it really is definitive, presenting the entire series in any way you want to watch it. And there's very slight embossing on the logo there. It's quite nice. And on the Cylon face there. Um, because this is the one that has both the cropped 16 by 9 version and the original full-frame 4x3 version. So the full-frame version is, is ideally the one you want because that is not only how it originally appeared on television, but the one that gives you the full image. It was not a widescreen show. This is a show from 1978. They didn't do shows in widescreen back then. So, you know, 4x3 is the way to go. So it's basically uh, five keep cases in the uh, box here, and it's quite quite a sturdy box. As you can see, tons and tons and tons of extras on there. So let's take a look at each individual set here. So first things first, we have something that was not included in the Complete Epic Series DVD collection. We have the theatrical version of the pilot. Yeah, so this is pretty cool to have. This is the 35th anniversary edition of the pilot. So this was this uh, along with Buck Rogers both had their pilot episodes shown theatrically to kind of hype them up a little bit more, make them more of an event, I guess. And then uh, and then they uh, appeared on television shortly afterwards in expanded form. So in the case of Battlestar Galactica, it was in very expanded form. The theatrical version of the uh, pilot only runs about two hours, a little over two hours, I guess. What is it? Two hours and five minutes? Yeah, two hours and five minutes. Ooh. There we go. And then the uh, the televised version is almost a solid three hours, so it's quite a difference. However, uh, in this case, you, you get to see it in widescreen, so it is, I think this one was kind of filmed with widescreen in mind. But um, in addition to that, there's, you know, a little bit more violence and stuff like that that uh, was kind of cut down a bit for the televised version. So it's interesting to see both versions. Uh, when I first grabbed this Blu-ray set, I actually watched both versions of the pilot pretty much back to back. And yeah, you can definitely see some some differences. Um, I generally lean towards the um, the televised version just because it's a more complete story. It does kind of feel like there's some stuff missing in the theatrical version. But it is interesting to have both, and it's nice to have both for uh, completion's sake. So here we have the original series. This is the full frame version. And the main reason that I got this set was to have the uh, the original full frame version. Hey, look how thin this is now compared to the massive digipack we had for the DVDs. So this is all 24 episodes of the series in high definition. And we get the disc by disc breakdown inside there. And uh, lots and lots of special features. Basically, it, it breaks up the special features where... You just get the, why am I taking that out of the tray? Uh, where you just get the ones that are relevant to the episodes on that particular disc, so it keeps it all very uh, straightforward and whatnot. I've watched about the first six episodes on this, and I have to say, it looks amazing. It looks so so good. You know, uh, could not be happier with this set. So this is one that I will enjoy again and again for years to come. And here we go. Here is Galactica 1980, the uh, short-lived follow-up series that some feel kind of is where the series jumped the shark. One episode that's really good in this, however, is the final episode entitled The Return of Starbuck, which has a story very similar to uh, the movie Enemy Mine, actually, where Starbuck is stranded on a planet and is shot down by a Cylon. The Cylon also crashes on the planet and they're forced to cooperate to survive. And it's kind of fun. I like it, actually. Now, apparently, so some people accuse Enemy Mine of ripping off that episode of Galactica 1980. However, that particular story goes back even farther than that. The whole idea of two enemies having to 
work together to survive and then ultimately becoming friends. It's a very old, old story that's been done many, many times over the years in one form or another. It's just, you know, people like you and me who are hardcore genre fans just notice the sci-fi takes on them more. <laughs> so here's the... Um, the widescreen version. I haven't actually taken a look at this yet. I'm kind of curious because I know a lot of other shows that were, say, filmed with Panavision cameras um, actually do have more picture information on the sides than what we may have seen previously. So I'm kind of curious to see the comparison between this and the full frame. And, well, you know, I've got both. I might as well watch both. So maybe what I'll do is I'll watch the series through in full frame and then watch it through in widescreen again just to kind of have both experiences. But, um, yeah so pretty cool so that that's one nice thing about the definitive collection as i say is it really is definitive and it gives you both options whatever your preference it gives you everything i mean i don't know of many other shows that do that so they really went all out for the fans for this set and i couldn't be happier um having been a fan basically since i was a kid so there we go and finally, last but most certainly not least, we have what you've all wanted since the dawn of time, Galactica 1980 in widescreen. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if it makes it any better, any worse. I don't know. I, I remember this. I actually remember Galactica 1980 a little bit more than I remember the original series from when I was a kid, mainly because I was a couple years older, I guess, so memories are retained a bit better. But uh, So I would have been eight when this came out whereas I would have been six when the original series came out. So I don't have a ton of memories of watching the original series, just that it was this cool show with spaceships and stuff. Um, I had just kind of, I guess, call it impression memories. But, um, yeah. But anyway, it was great to, great to get this set and see what I had long since forgotten. I mean, I knew that I'd seen them all, in my youth, I just didn't remember them. So it was great to get this set and uh, and relive them again um, in high definition and, and basically see them in better quality than has ever been seen before. I mean, the closest equivalent would have been, I guess, the, the Blu-ray of the, the movie, which has been out for a while. But to actually get the whole series and have all these different viewing options is phenomenal. So definitely treat yourself and get this, uh, get this set. You want the red box, not the black box. The black box only has the, uh, the widescreen edition. The black box looks like this, by the way. So they call it the complete collection, which technically is correct. It is complete. It has every episode, but it doesn't have the movie, and it only has the widescreen editions of the episodes. This includes the movie and has both the full frame and widescreen editions of the episodes. Um, yeah, I don't know what more I can say about it than that. Great set, get it, you won't be disappointed. And there you go. So yeah, to reiterate for the umpteenth time in this closer look, this is the set you want. Not the one with the black box, you want the one with the red box. And I would suggest getting it fairly soon because last I checked, the stock seemed to be dwindling. They seem to be pushing the black box. The black box one seems to be the one that's going to stay in print for a while. This one, I don't know if it was a limited edition or what, but it seems to be getting a little harder to uh, find. So uh, jump on it while you can. Alrighty, well that is it from me to you for now. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Until then, big thanks to you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to swing by Twitch if you feel so inclined. I stream there just about every day uh, doing stuff like when I shoot my videos and even edit them and chat with everybody who's there while I do all the work. It kind of helps relieve the tedium for me and entertain the folks who were there. And we talk about all kinds of geeky things and have a good time. Uh, yeah, so we'll see you next time. Till then, sayonara.